It's feelings that you never thought you would ever have to have. Um, when I called the tele nurse, they said to go take your blood pressure. And so when I did it, it was 200 over 105. And they told me I need to get to the hospital right away. Yeah, we were all out together, actually. So it was a manager convention out in Vegas. That point, I was exactly 26 weeks pregnant there. And from that point to um, when I delivered at 28 weeks, so I was basically in Vegas for a week and then hospitalized at St. John's for a week. They had to give me oxygen for Callie to keep um, her uh, heart rate uh, up, but it was making me sick, so they had to, um, ended up taking her at 28 weeks. Don't know what to do. Pray and hope that everything's gonna be okay. She fell limp and uh, I ran into the daycare as fast as I could, banging on the doors, and I just screamed, she's not breathing. Um, the paramedics showed up and rushed us to the hospital. Um, when we were there, they found out she had aspirated, which caused pneumonia, um, and her, both her lungs were almost completely filled up. She was surviving on basically a half of a lung at this point. Um, they were able to get, the, um, get her breathing and the pneumonia under control. Um, before we left, the doctor just said, is there anything else you're concerned about? And I had mentioned that her um, stomach seemed a little bit bloated, and so they ran a couple of tests and found out that Callie had a malrotated bowel. After her first major surgery, it, it was a touch and go, touch and go, just about every day, uh, whether or not they're gonna survive the night even. So she went into surgery and she came out. Um, she was still vented. Um, they were able to take the vent off. And four days after that surgery, um, she dehissed. So everything that was inside of her incision volcanoed out of her incision. And she was rushed back into the um, OR for another surgery. Can't even really explain it because it's just so, you feel so incredibly helpless. Um, you feel emotionally drained just all the time, just worrying about your, 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 your baby. Um, she came out of that surgery and she wasn't doing very good at all. Um, July 4th weekend, 2011, the doctors didn't think she was going to make it. Um, her lungs kept collapsing, they couldn't get her stabilized, she was, um, uh, she coded right in front of us. Finally. They were able to get her under control, and about three weeks later, we were uh, released from the hospital. In January 2012, um, they did another test on Callie and found she had a hole in her esophagus. So every time she was eating and drinking, every, all the fluid was going into her lungs, causing her lungs to fill up, and which was causing the pneumonia. Finally, they were able to repair that, and after spending a total of 146 days, Kelly's first year of life in the hospital, we were never back. Thankfully, for the research Marsha's Dimes has done and are doing today, you know, helped save our, our daughter's life. I love it all Marsha's Dimes, they helped me.